for some action. This is my fifth time out now in eight days. Uh, I'm just getting real greedy for action. It's these cod, and I know it's it's the last run, so I've come out to uh, see if I can get the last uh, remnants of the cod run. But uh, I'm at the right at the far end now, past the macro sign, and I'm onto this bit here. I'm onto that bit, look. Right, right off the edge. Um, I have caught cod here, so I'm not bothered. Uh, it's nice here, it's quite easy to get them in because you don't have the wall like you have at the other end. If you look here, you're right on the wall, so basically you don't have to worry about getting caught on the wall when you're pulling big fish in because you can just lean over a bit and uh, you won't be getting nowhere near the wall. Um, it's uh, a massive tide, I think it's 8.33 metre. Huge! I mean, that's going to come over the wall, I would say, 8.33 metre. Um, I fished this at 7.8 and it's been lipping the edge of it. So I would say 8.33 is going to come off, especially with this breeze blowing, because it's blowing about 20. Um, there's, there's quite some big gusts. But uh, I've only come out to catch some, uh, obviously, fish action. I'm not going to gab and gab on the mic, um, on the camera, because obviously there's, there's a wind factor you've got to think about. So uh, I'm just going to get the fish action. So I mean, it'll be a short video anyway. I would say 35, 40 minutes, but hopefully it might have some good fish in it. There's another guy just turned up about 40 metres to the right of me. He's, he was fishing the other side but got kicked off because apparently there's flatty beds over there and you're not allowed to fish there. So they've kicked him off and he's come to this side. So I've given him a bit of advice and told him where to fish and what to do and that because he doesn't fish this side. And he's quite happy with it. So I hope he gets some of it then. Uh, so I'll be back if I get a bite. But uh, I won't hold my breath really because... <laughs> For one thing, it's too early because it's not our tad well quarter to eight and it's not, it's not even four o'clock yet. Uh, sorry, quarter to seven and it's not even four o'clock yet. So uh, the water's fairly ripping through and it's pretty choppy out there, as you can see. I mean, the sun's out, lovely view of the bridge and that. Um, but it's pretty choppy and I can imagine in another hour when the tide's up another two or three feet up this wall, it is going to be mighty choppy. And I reckon we're going to get a bit of spray coming over the top. And then at our side, it's definitely going to come over the top with the wind. So, I'll cut off for now, but if I do get anything happening, obviously I'm going to put you back on. Because I think I have a bite on the first rod. I mean, it's tight as hell. I mean, normally you won't be able to see a bite, but uh, I think I've got a fish on that rod. Um, I'm going to have to have a look. It's either lots and lots of weed, and it's dragging me right down. Oh, there's a fish on it. I mean, it's only probably going to be a flatty, but um, I'm looking at the other rod and it's not in the same position. And yet they're both out the same distance, so I'm wondering why that has gone really tight like that. I know there's a lot of tidal pull, but it's, that's against the tide, so... I'm going to have a look now. I mean, I could be stuck. It's quite possible that I could have got stuck, because I've done this before and got stuck. I'm hoping this is weed, guys, because if it is... Bloody hell. I don't think I'm stuck, I just think I've got a lot of weed. Definitely not, stop that. I've got to be careful because I'm on bridge and I'll rip my fingers to pieces. I want to see if I'm stuck. I don't believe I am though. I think it's just a hell of a lot of weed. Or it's got the biggest fish on it you've ever seen. I'm just on that rod. I'm gonna to have to try and get it out. I think it's there's either a fish on it and it's a big one. Or I'm stuck on a big lump of weed. I don't think I'm I'm stuck because it's moving. What's your fingers? Yeah, that's why I've got to be careful because I'll pick somebody else's line up. Wind it in for a bit for me. Go on.
one. I think I've looked into some. I don't think it's a fish, but I looked into some. Wow, I can't even snap it because I've got 65 pound braid on it. You need to wind you let all it all back out again. I've got to be careful what I'm doing because it'll lose my arm. Well guys, I've, got, I've probably got a bedspread again. I've had one before. <laughs> I have, I've had a bedspread on here before. Has that just, has that just gone over there? It's salt. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's pulling that one. You know? Yeah, look. Come back this way a bit. We'll have to cut it off, I think. Yeah, they have a cross somewhere, you can hear it. What? They have a cross somewhere, you can hear it, look. There you go. Oh, that's why you want to be over. But yeah. Is it under? No, 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 don't lift your rod down. Whatever you do, do not lift it down. So where you are. If you just cross it and cross it, that's it, I'll never get it off. Yeah, I think I've lost that one. Is it still solid? I'm never going to get that out. Probably with bread. I'm going down to one rod for now. So we'll pull. There you are. It's a lot in there. What? I might have a good fish. That's not does it. What? I don't know. because you'll never get them off. It's 
sunny over here, it's like stretches like that. Yeah, it's just over here. You can see it myself from here. Don't tighten it up, I'm still. What are you doing? There's only over there. You can see where it was. That's gone over there. I don't know what it is. Right. Just that. We are casting it again. It's uh oh. not worth casting it again. I'm gonna go down to one rod for now fellas because uh I might not even let stay very long at this rate. I don't think it's fishable really. Certainly not, definitely not with two rods. That is a fact. That's the only problem here, you can't get to get your freaking gear where you've got two rods up there. Tangled over that one again. Can't just pass us one of them worms. No, one of the worms. Oh, uh, worm. Preferably a chunky one. What is that? Say again. Is what? The lure. Word? It's a uh, sandworm, lugworm. Oh, sandworm. Yeah. Sandworm. Lugworm it is, it's uh, freshly dug. Can I see that? Yeah, it's lugworm, freshly dug. Let's put the like on here. I've tried one with sprout. Pieces of sprout. With what? Pieces of sprout. Ah, uh, you don't catch now with that one. I, I got, I got one. The flat oh, flatty. Yeah. Yeah, you get flatty like anything. Cod you want? The, then. Oh, then oh uh, yeah. There's cod in here. Yeah. I got an eleven pound four one the other night. Ah. Uh, you've you got a picture. Seriously. Have you got a picture? I have. Yeah. Got a video. Can I see? That's right. I only came three times. This place. Yeah, nothing from the right here. Oh man. Oh man. Sounds like that fella look. Three foot. It works? Yeah, we went, yeah. Three foot long, man. That's the uh, thing. It was massive, all that fat. Well, you got me. Tomorrow I'm going to take your place. That's where you want me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to one, it's not holding it, it's tangling all over. 
I'll stick to one rod until the tide comes up a bit. I think. Oh, you're down to one completely? Yeah, I've just tangled them both. Oh, yeah. Weeds are horrendous, man. You're not bothering the tools a little bit? Nah, it's got all the weed coming off them. Are you staying all night? I'll be staying well after that, yeah. I'll go half seven, something like that. Sure. Yeah, about half seven, isn't it? I'll just start to start out to six. It depends if they start biting, because I mean, you sometimes get a massive one, haven't you? Well, you'll just get bite after bite. I had an idea, I can't keep doing wind keeps me, so I'm going to keep it up to the Yeah, that's what people mostly do. Whoa. Well, a bit warmer. <whistles> I'll grab that one. There you are, man. Yeah, I'm sticking down to one thing, I'll just that reason, I'm not going to wear Where's my right hand? It's all that way, isn't it? Down a big one, yeah. It's all that one, huh? I'm down to one right hand rod, fellas. Uh, it's, uh, it's not holding, um, there's a lot of weed. Uh, I've just lost the first set of gear, but I had a feeling I'd lost it because it got real tight. And you, I mean, guaranteed certain once you've gone tight like that and it's holding straight, you know you got stuck. Um, but I'm gonna try, I've got eight ounce out at the moment. Uh, the guy next to me said he's on two ounce and he's holding, but I can't see it because I can't hold it. And I'm only like 30 meters away. But, um, We'll just have to see. See how eight ounce gets on. I'll, I'll be back if I see any ash. Session, remember? This was just a, a flash session. It wasn't a, a major filming job. Uh, I've come out because it's a massive tad, and uh, still an hour and twenty to go. And look at this. That's how close we are to the wall. We could have come over the wall easily, easily. There's still an hour and twenty to I. It's only a foot from the top. So it's going to be good, but I'm just, uh, it's just a, a flash session really. You know, this is not for a Tuesday, this is this is just going to be put up midweek, just for an extra bit of footage, because um, I just fancy coming out and having a quick session, so it might only be a 20 minute video, but who cares, it's, uh, it's a bit of footage to watch, isn't it? I've got a guy who's from, who's from London fishing to the left of me. Um, is in the area on the uh, work for work and that so he's uh, come for a session had a good chat and stuff it's one of my subscribers as well so that's even better Well, the rain's holding off, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty blue now. Lovely tad, tad run that. Look at that, beautiful that. If you get a fish, you haven't got far to pull it in, have you? It's basically on the bank. Well, that's a bit smoother as well. Well, it always slows down there, top. I mean, I know it's still an hour to go, but I mean, it's going to slow down a lot quicker than it normally does with it being See a big that, tad. Yeah. <laughs> right at the top. It's definitely going to come over, so we might have to move on to the top. I would expect the tide to come over the top. I mean, it might not physically, as in 
volume come over the top but it's it's choppy so it's definitely going to lap over lovely night for it though, a bit of wind, it's uh, about 14 degree, still in my hoodie anyway so that's the main thing, my lad's wrapped up like an Eskimo because he's not used to all these, uh, well it's not even cold, I mean to him it will be, but yeah to me it's, it's warm. I'm not too bad, it's just a little bit of wind, gets down the back of your top and... To the Arpen fisherman it's just a, it's a warm afternoon. Well, if I had my way, I'd bring a fire bin and have a little bonfire here as well. Exactly. <laughs> but it is lovely. I mean, there's uh, there was another lad to the right of me, but he couldn't hold out. He was using two sixes and it wouldn't hold. <laughs> so he's got up fairly. Oh, that up. was two threes he was using. Oh, it? Yeah. I'm using an eight and it's. But well, he, I've got an eight and a six and they're, they're both about holding the same to be fair. So. But he was using two car prods. So what you gear? Yeah, it's like a washing line, isn't it? <laughs> as long as you got your gear back. Yeah. You got your gear back? Yeah. That's alright then. This is where you don't need a need a leader knot, because you get caught on it. I like, oh I've got a bite, yes that is definitely a bite. Far rod, I've just had a few good bites on it. Oh yeah, it's still going. Definitely got a nice bite on that far rod, let's have a look at it. It's still going. I mean they are pulling to the right, but uh, not over dramatic. I did chuck them quite far out these, about 45, 15, I just shouldn't really gone that far really. Yeah, I've lapsed. But it was a bite. Oh, and again. Yeah. It is around the, uh, the time when you still start getting bites. About an hour before top. So I'll leave you on. The old back camera's not, is it filthy? It's alright. Just checking the camera because it looks a bit filthy but just have a look, make sure there's no muck on it. Possibility on this one. I think it's just tidal puff. Oh well, it's starting to come over the top now. <laughs> Here it comes. That's definitely going to come over the top, that, without a doubt. Just starting to uh, lap the lip now, guys. <laughs> there's only, there's still an hour to go, it's got to come over. I might have to move to the top deck. I mean, it's in the biggest tide of the week, the biggest one tomorrow, I think it's 8.33 metres tomorrow. I don't know where that was, but it just pulled you a rod. As it was over here. I've just seen it slide across that way. Yeah, it's just a it's the pull. <sighs> this tidal pull is very, very strong. I'm going to pull one in anyway because I don't want to, I don't want to lose my gear by getting rolled. It's a lot easier to just cast out. I did think I had a bite on this one though, so I'm going to keep an eye on it. It did feel like it had a bite, didn't it? It looked like a bite. Oster, I swapped to a Pat and Oster and uh, 
just started raining with that tiny little bit of cloud above us. Yeah, I think it's the, is it red? Or is yeah. it the, it's off the rod. That's red. It's not above us. <laughs> exactly. You do that? Yeah, but it's not above us, isn't it? It's a tiny little cloud. Yeah, because it's black, so it won't Yeah, I'd only just cast it out, but it drifted a bit, didn't it? So I'm going to recast it. I might put another one on that other rod to the other up. Oh, oh. There's not one with a bit. It's only been out there five minutes. I certainly aren't going to rebase it when I've only just baited it. I might stick another. I might stick a. Oh. I'm going to put a lug on. Blue and black cocktail. Today, Dad. You what? One year ago today. What? <laughs> was it? Yeah. One year ago. <laughs> Just We're not on the coast today, though, are we? <laughs> oh, that would have been. Um... The lads just pulled out uh, one of the memorable things off uh, was it Facebook. Yeah. Memorable things, it said one year ago today, fishing on the coast. So I think that was We might have been at Odsley or something, or San Vermeer. It's about where we went with, uh, was it Russ? Yeah, could have been. Well, it could have been Easington. Ah, uh, yeah, because that's where the walrus was on the beach. That's when we got that bass and that cod. On it? Yeah. Mats of one because one thing you don't get a lot of weed. Might as well put that one straight on the side then. This thing's a bit heavy. It's not bad, though. Yeah, it feels a bit heavy. It's, it's weed done, Paul. I know that I could explain it, but well, I'll keep casting them until it starts slowing down. I keep casting them on. I don't know if the uh, the camera's clean because I keep flicking weed all over. I'm gonna make sure it's clean. Yeah, I'm banned out so. There's a lot of weed coming in. And obviously it's that windy when I'm flicking it off my mind, it's blowing everywhere. Come on, one, and uh, pat an ostler on the other to walk. I'm trying to uh, have plenty of options to do. <coughs> the bait's staying on though. This this lug, by the way, was camped by some some people from Bradford. Uh, one of my subscribers in Bradford, who was at Paul last time I was fishing, but uh, he asked me if I wanted these ones. So obviously, 
So yeah, I thanked him for the mic and give me all the squid as well. I only caught a co uh, baby cod with them. Oh yeah, and he caught a little cod back there. It was the only one that had a cod on there. It was only little than like about 10 inches, but that no, was a cod. Like I said to him, if you're not taking them all, then cod's a cod, innit? You want the old count? You know, he came out looking for cod and he got one. That don't look better than that. I mean, obviously that's my target species today, cod. I don't want it to go too far. It's a bit of a bite. Not a little bite, but that's the eight ounce of it. It's certainly holding a lot better than the out than there was earlier because the weed's dropping off. You know that's the main thing. There is a lot of pull still, but I mean you can expect it on a, an 8.2 whatever metre turn it is. Very close to the top of the wall now, it's 12 inches if that. Been smashing over. Over it's, there, it's actually though. started to come over the wall now. Let's have a look. It's 45 minutes to high, and we're about 11 inches from the top. I mean, it's prime time now to be catching fish. I've got cracking bait, I've got fresh lug. And I've got uh, frozen blacks on at the moment, and uh, I've got cart and everything with me, so cart, squid, mackerel, um, I've got prawns, everything. If I need them, I've got them. I mean, if there's any blanking going on today, it'll be unbelievable, because they're, uh, what a tad. I mean, and it's not even that bad, the wind's dropping as well. It looks nice out there, doesn't it? Yeah, it actually looks beautiful. I'll give you a quick look at the tide now because it, it's... Uh, I'll show you. Look at that. It's uh, it's coming over the top. There's still 45 minutes to go. That so was, that is definitely going to come that over. an inch off, that. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a nice session, this. You had any bites yet? You don't mind being on camera, do you? What's that? You don't mind being on camera, do you? Nah, not so, mate. Guy fishing next to me, he's from, um, where you from, London? Northamptonshire now. Northamptonshire, what's your name? Anthony. Anthony. So if you look at it yourself on video when it goes up into weight. Uh, Especially if he gets a big cod, because you've seen the one I caught yeah, a couple of weeks ago. I've been chasing up and down the country for these, mate. It's still elusive for me. But, um, there was another guy fishing with us, but he couldn't hold out, so he's disappeared. But, I mean, he should have waited, should he, really? It's definitely coming over tonight, isn't it? Yeah. 45 minutes to top and we're about eight and nine inches from the lip now. So it's all good. If he gets a fish, by the way, I'll, I'll be back and I'll show you the fish. And uh, he, he'll be able to look back on that. That's a big hit. Tell all his mates what he caught, especially if it's a big one. I've got a tight another shot on the right now. I lost that. Yeah, I said I don't fish with shot leaders in here because you get stuck on them and then okay. if you've got a fish, you get, you're bound to lose it if you're going to get stuck on a shot leader. I mean, I'd rather pull pull it out and lose my gear than get stuck on it, really. But nine times out of ten, your lead just comes off. Yeah. So you end up with a fish anyway, so... But yeah, I mean, it's turned out nice, hasn't it? Lovely view of the bridge. There's a man waving at us, look, in the distance. Yeah, it's all good. Fine watch. We've got all the uh, the jetty to ourselves today, so if we start catching cod, this video ain't live, so we'll be all right. It won't be a mass swarm of people turning up. But uh, I'll be back. If, if you get any bites and that, I'll be back. I'll soon get them on camera for you when you can. 
You'll be able to watch it back, won't you? It's all good, something to do while we're uh, just waiting for this tide to slow down, isn't it? But it's all good. I'll get you back on these rods for a bit. Something different. Meet some nice people when you're fishing. That is a fact. Everybody talks to you. Just had some room with these guys talking to me, two or three of them, asking what bait to use and stuff, because they've been fishing with garden worms and stuff, and I'm caught now, <laughs> and, and probably the reason why, because I'm fishing with garden worms. So oh, I pointed okay. them in the right direction. What's that? What? A tipple yeah, so I pointed them in the right direction, and hopefully they'll get some decent bait and uh, have a go. It's all good if you can help somebody out, innit? I thought I had a spare back room here, but I'm not sure I have now. Can't you charge it while you're... Oh, yeah, I have got one here, all right, I've got a spare battery. Right, I'm going to cut it off for a while, because, I mean, I've had it on for quite a while. And as I say, I don't want a massive long video, but I do want some fish in it, so I'll be back when uh, they start nibbling. Come on. Yes. Go for it. Come on. Maybe you've that. It's about. Definitely a cut and bite that, 100%. It's cross, I think, and all. Come on. I don't think Well, that was a nice bite, that, wasn't it? Some of three good bites yeah. on it. First good bite of the day. So I'm going to keep an eye on these. Can't believe how light that's showing. Look how light that's showing. Oh, yeah. And it's dark. <laughs> yeah. Unreal, isn't it? Definitely got a bite on the first rod. Come on, fishing fishing. Well, it'd be a shame if I don't get a fishing, lads, because uh, that was a good bite. I actually thought I had the fish. It's, uh, I'll show you the tad, by the way, now, because uh, I forgot to show you it. Look at this. Look at this now. It's coming over. Look. Look at that. It's over the bank. That was a good little knock that there as well. Yeah, it was one. It's the first one of the afternoon, that. I'll keep you on this rod. I know it's only a little lightning session, this one, but... You never know. It might be stuck into a nice cob. That, that rod is out 80, 90 metres. And it's held lovely. Oh, I've got one on the other. The other one, then. Yeah. Because it was slightly hard, that. I've uh, got a rod on knock them both now. I think I've been slack land on both. Oh, this one's on real yeah. flat. It's in this one. It's leaving. Yeah, that oh, is yeah. Just, that. I'd say so. That's slack twice. Ooh, it feels like one. It feels like worry. It's not very hard to do the land. I'm not going to pull them both in. No, it's happening. You are, I'm not. I'm out. Right now, what do you like? Yeah, come this side, give a big. Kind of this one's gone slack, I think. Yeah, yeah, this one's gone slack again. Yeah, I know, but if it was off of the other line, it would go slack because yeah. the fish would be on the other line. 
I'm going to have to bring them both in. <coughs> because the brands were crossed and one of them was knocking. This one feels a lot heavier. So saying that, the other one was heavy. <laughs> I'm going to have my bait, haven't I? I'm going to have my bait. No, there's no fish. I'm going to swap to the trusty black one. I'm going to have both bait. That bottom up screen hammered, and this one has half of that strand as well, look. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely tricky out there. Yeah, but it's like you said sometimes, if you get side swipe, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? If yeah. you get you from the side, you, uh, you're flogging a dead horse then. I'm going to move on to my trusty baits now. Two black lug on each. Prime time now, definitely it's a bite in. That has definitely been had a go, hasn't it? Right, all the middle's gone. All yeah. the middle's been eaten off. There's no weed. <laughs> I like it black to me. Yeah, there's no weed. Yeah, That's a good I thing. Like not, one, not one inch of weed. Hey right, Danny, watch your head. This is going for a long walk. <laughs> Yeah. It's laughing well over down there, you can see it coming across even more. Laughing up the path. I've got black on here now, and look. Get out. I went far. I went along with that. Get the other one out. See so it being in when it's good water like that. Yeah. Chad just said, Jim, is it? It's a yes and no, so I'm talking to a no. Yeah, look, they've had a right good hammering on them bait, haven't they? Yeah. I pulled this rig in earlier. I thought it was pretty heavy, that line. There's an eight ounce on it, I pulled this one in with it. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> it was heavy, I thought you had a fish. These have been frozen about 40 times, like, but... Oh, I know, I'm like that. Yeah, I, I, I like, keep like doing tar that. And I, I, like know, like that. I like them like that, when they're real sticky. Yeah, when they're real thick, like tar, like that. They're like blackjacks, don't they? Yeah. Sticks to your up, don't they? Yeah. Because when they're real soft, they just as soon as you get washed off. I sometimes stick on a needle and wrap them a bit and put two on and a bit of a lump and put them more of a length. I don't know what was happening now, but all right. <laughs> all right, good. Wash up and down. See, got you laughing well over them. Over them. 
It's easy fishing here though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's why I like coming here. Yeah, I don't like that. I can't be doing climbing down cliffs. There's no climbing or anything. Yeah, it knows big fish. Well, it's that beach we went to where it's more about a mile just to get there. Oh, yeah. Runnels, that's a killer, that man. Especially your back killing you. I'm not into that. When we went the other week to uh, Dimmington, me and Shane up that hill, oh, we put some steps in, but honestly, well, we got, I, to, the, got well, to the top. When we first did runnels, we went the long way because we didn't know there was a cliff away. So oh, we right. walked along the edge of the cliff yeah. from the car pines, about over a mile. Oh, yeah. When you've got all that gear, that's a hell of a long way to walk with all that gear. That's carrying two boxes, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that's definitely a slack line with that. I'm going to say, I'm just looking at it, it looks. I don't know. Yeah, it's I just feel that it's coming back again. It looks so as if it's coming in and landing on that. I'll lap it up a bit now. I don't know whether it's turned now. So if it's going out, it's going to go out that way. If you look at the bubbles, it's starting to go left. So it must be going out. I don't know, that stuff coming in. It's coming up. It's coming that way a bit. I'll just hold it in. Yeah, no, but it's pointing to the right. I cast it to the left, it's right. In fact, you cast this one to the left. Now you look, you look at the way it is, it's going left now. It can't be going out that much. It is, look at the cast of that going left. It's not eight now. It's quite yeah. a slack wall. Oh, eight, eight, uh, seven. Two minutes to seven. No, I've got a slack wall. Yeah, it's been going out for about 15 minutes. It's not to seven. It's just on seven. I'm sure it was 22. I thought it was 22. Yeah, it was quarter, quarter to seven coming in, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, you can see all the sticks going left, mate, can't we? But I think it's tight. I don't think it's tight. I think it's tight. I think fantastic conditions now, isn't it? Right, I'll be back if I get a fish. Up time, it's about, uh, what, something to wait, is it? 20 to 8. 20 to 8. I had a bite about 15 minutes ago, a lovely drop down bite and a few little nibbles afterwards. Missed it, but there you go. That's the only really decent action I've had all night. Nobody's caught out down here, but uh, the water's come over the wall. It's been great. Uh, just shame it wasn't minus 15 because it'd have been better, but there you go. You can't win them all. But until next time from me, Jimmy Cod Bites and gang, it's a good night. <laughs>